Hey guys, this is Tom from the Brotherhood. I wanted to go over two common issues I hear when talking to guys about turkey diaphragm calls. The first being, it doesn't fit correctly. So, a lot of times guys will say, I can't get it to fit correctly in my mouth to make the right sound, or if it gets too far back, it produces the gag reflex. The thing that helped me whenever I started was not even trying to call on the call as soon as you get it. Is just put the call in your mouth, drive around in your truck, um, on the way to and from work and practice moving that call around becoming comfortable with it in your mouth. Eventually you will have to have the ability to slide the call back farther into the mouth. Um, a lot of guys I see try to cheat the system and move the call forward and this is the sound that that produces. Which obviously is not the right sound. So sliding that call further back gives you the ability to close off that air and not have air passing around the call and that's what gives you the better sound. So I guess just getting used to it but not trying to call right as soon as you get the call. Just become comfortable with that. So be careful cutting the call too much. Um, it will end up kind of producing the same issue as if you have the call too far forward. Too much air will pass around and again you get that, that air sound and not enough air is going directly over top of the reeds. The second issue I hear often is I can't get it to sound quite right. There can be a multitude of reasons for this, but for me when I got started, after I learned the call placement in my mouth and got that, I learned quickly that um, I wasn't sounding just like I needed to. I was at a calling contest and I just got done and I had a guy come up to me and say, hey, you sounded good overall, but your Yelp needs some help. So I asked him, what do I need to do? He said, what you're doing is you're calling with just your tongue. So it would sound something like this. It's making a turkey sound, but it's not exactly what we're looking for. What he advised me to do was to drop my jaw. So basically, if you watch a hen, when she's yelping, she is opening that mouth the whole way and dropping that jaw. Whenever I started doing this, my yelping was significantly better, and I'll just kind of do a quick rendition of that for you. As you can see, I'm dropping my jaw significantly, not just using my tongue to make the noise. Just some stuff that's helped me get a better yell over the years. So I appreciate it. Check out the calls on the website, and thanks again.